There are a number of Ghanaians projecting the Ghanaian culture through art, fashion, music, and any other form they can. In no particular order, here are 10 of such people who can be described as Ghanaian cultural icons. At number 10, we have Serge Atukwe Klote. He is known for work that examines the powerful agency of everyday objects. Working across installation, performance, photography, and sculpture, Klote explores personal and political narratives rooted in histories of trade and migration. Based in Accra and working internationally, Klote refers to his work as Afro-Galonism, a concept that confronts the question of material culture through the utilization of yellow gallon containers. At number nine, we have Constance Elizabeth Swanica. She is a renowned Ghanaian sculptor making her strides in the creative and construction industry. After graduating from KNUST, she established Ascents and Art Limited, the premier supplier of iron mongery in Ghana and arguably West Africa. She has received several awards and her works can be found in a wide range of upscale homes, offices and diplomatic missions, both home and abroad. Her works have been showcased in both solo and group exhibitions in Ghana, Nigeria, France, and Germany. At number eight, we have Manche Ayikwe. The creative and multi-talented former copywriter has created what is perhaps Ghana's most revolutionary art festival that attracts artists from all over the world, the Chaliwati Arts Festival. The festival is independent of state control and free to the public. It managed to draw over 10,000 people to Accra's fishing colonial settlement with more than 200 local and international visual artists, poets, filmmakers, vendors, photographers, musicians, and performance artists participating, each with their own diverse interpretations of the festival's vision. At number seven, we have Marigold Akufuadu. She's widely known for her specific painting technique of tiny squares, each measuring no more than a tenth of an inch. Those minuscule square boxes form the structural basis of her paintings and provide a twinkling underground of diverse topics which are depicted in evolving forms and changing perspectives. Her themes are often based on historic events, incorporating multicultural influences of West African, Moorish and Old Egyptian origin. Kofi Setoji is at number six. He is an internationally renowned Ghanaian sculptor, painter, and photographer, and is arguably the most outstanding contemporary Ghanaian artist of this generation with an abundance of expressions as varied as his eclectic style. Kofi has worked with almost every conceivable medium, genre and style, from his vintage black and white photography that captured the architectural skyline of Accra through the stills of moments of the sublime in various human activities to portraits of just ordinary people. Kwejaini is at number five. Kwejaini borrowed his signature painting style from the toys and folk stories of his childhood. This made him become known for works that play on inikese, which translates as big eye. He exaggerates the sizes of the mouths and eyes of the people he depicts, so they appear like kids observing the world around them with wonder. This style is a form of naive art, and Kwejo's intention is to make the viewer see anew with the honesty and sincerity of a child. At number four, we have Kwame Akotobanfo. He is a Ghanaian artist who has spent six years of his life sculpting about 1,300 heads that depict the dehumanizing trade manipulation and exploitation which happened from the 16th to 19th century. Some heads portray the particular state the slaves were in when they were captured, with them looking onto the instruments of their destruction. At number three, we have Ablade Glover. He is a Ghanaian post-war and contemporary painter who was born in 1934. His work has been featured in several exhibitions at key galleries and museums, including the Gallery 1957 and the October Gallery. Ablade Glover's work has been offered at different auctions with realized prices ranging from 1434 to 34,461 US dollars, depending on the size and medium of the artwork. 
at number two, we have Weyala. In the Ghanaian musical landscape, where the majority of women tend to embrace the high fashion and pristine looking aesthetic, Weyala stands out. This wasn't a calculated move apparently, just a natural one. And although she's routinely compared to Grammy Award winning singer Angelique Kijo, she is truly entirely herself. Her Afrocentrism is refreshing for someone who is making waves on international stages, becoming a veteran of the music festival circuit in 2017 and playing at the Shambhala, Greenbelt and Freedom Festivals in England. Finally, at number one, we have Hamamat Montia. A look through the social media pages of the former Miss Malaika Queen shows that she is all about promoting the Ghanaian culture and changing the narrative. She sells different types of share butter and has a whole share butter village where you can go to relax and learn more about the Ghanaian culture. Hamamat has been a great ambassador of the culture and art industry. Her uniqueness and proud embracement of the art and way of projecting the new Africa is a call for people in the diaspora, business investors and other tourists to visit, explore and experience great nature art and culture and that's all we have for you today we hope you enjoyed this episode and learned something new as well don't forget to like this video share it with friends and subscribe to our youtube channel see you tomorrow